Welcome to Read Your Heart Out. I'm Ann Forrester. Today's story is a popular tale by the Brothers Grimm. Let's take an exciting journey into the woods and meet Little Red Riding Hood. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little village girl, the prettiest you have ever seen. Her mother loved her dearly, as did her grandmother. She had made her a little red hood, which suited her so well that everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Your grandmother is not very well. Go and see how she is. You can take her some cookies and this homemade jar of jelly. Little Red Riding Hood left right away to visit her grandmother who lived in another village. As she was walking through the forest, she met a wolf. He would have liked to gobble her up on the spot, but he did not dare because there were some woodcutters nearby in the forest. He pretended to be very kind and asked her where she was going. The poor girl did not know that it was dangerous to talk to a wolf, and she said to him, I'm going to see my grandmother to take her some cookies and a jar of jelly my mother made for her. Does she live very far away? asked the wolf. Oh yes, replied Little Red Riding Hood. Her house is beyond the mill by the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, I would like to see her too. I will take this road here and you take the other road and we will see who arrives first. The wolf set off on the shortest path, running as fast as he could, while the little girl went by the other, longer path, amusing herself by gathering nuts, running after butterflies, and picking small bunches of flowers. It did not take the wolf very long to reach grandmother's house. He reached up and knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Who is it? came a voice from inside. It's your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf, disguising his voice. I have brought you some cookies and a jar of jelly my mother has made for you. The good grandmother, who was in bed, called out, Lift up the latch and come in. The wolf lifted the latch and the door opened. At once he leapt onto the bed and ate the poor woman in less than a second. Then he closed the door and lay down to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. A few moments later she knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Who is it? came the gruff wolf's voice. When she heard this, Little Red Riding Hood was a little scared at first. But remembering her grandmother was ill, she answered, it is your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. I brought you some cookies and a jar of jelly my mother has made for you. The wolf softened his voice a little and called out, Lift up the latch and come in. Little Red Riding Hood lifted the latch and the door opened. The wolf hid under the bed covers and said, Put the cookies and jar of jelly on the table. Come sit by me. Little Red Riding Hood climbed on the bed and stared at her grandmother. Grandma, what big arms you have, she cried. All the better to hug you with, the wolf replied. And Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with. Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my child. Grandma, what big teeth you have, cried Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, barked the wolf, and threw back the covers he leapt out of bed. And just as he was about to eat up the little girl, the woodcutter who had been in the forest burst into the cottage. With one blow of his axe, he cut off the wolf's head, and nobody was ever troubled by that wicked creature again. The End Little Red Riding Hood is a story that has been told around the world for centuries, and with many different titles, such as Little Red Cap. If you wrote your own version, what would you call it? Thanks for reading with me. Until next time, find a good book and read your heart out. Thank you.